Here is the first member of Rossi and Company, that short-lived stable of mine. You know, honestly, I look at I look at when I was looking to recruit other people, and this kid was he was overlooked. He was shortchanged right from the very beginning. But nonetheless, he has moved on up the ranks. He will be taking on the television champion at this upcoming RWA's Dynasty. And you know what? Fan favorite he may not be. This kid has earned it. He's deserved it for a long time. And right now, Rob Massey and he are going to share a few words. Surely sure of himself tonight and for April 13th. Well, my honest opinion, you know, I think Damien is overlooking his adversary here tonight. His eyes are surely on the prize of the television championship, but I'm by no by no stretch is Chris Pyro a walk in the park. Are, are, are an easy breezy opponent. I'm sorry. This guy brings intensity every time he comes out to the ring. So, Damien, please, for your, for your benefit, don't be short sighted, kid. See, Bobby Rossi, this is why I can't work with you. I get in trouble with all the people you used to manage. It's bad enough that the guy hates fat people, women, and children. He then won't even answer one of my questions straight. I thought they were pretty simple. A child could answer them. He's, uh, he's a pretty hostile character. It's, it, it's something I had to deal with many a times as his former manager. And you can throw the heat on me all you want, but Chris Pyro is gonna be throwing all the heat at Damian Black here at the RWA Chop Shop. I tell you what, uh, Damian Black is uh, looking past Chris Pyro, and that is a huge mistake here tonight on our final hype before Dynasty because Chris Pyro and Mike Grossa have had such a rivalry over the last year that if you were to overlook a man who has not only beat Mike Grossa just to face Mike Grossa, you're going to end up not only losing this match, but you're going to overthink your match at Dynasty. So possible, I mean, with this, with this kid, he's, he's very, uh, he's not only narrow-minded, but he's very, he's very, he suffers from tunnel vision. And we, the bell is under, has rung, and we are underway here in our uh, second-to-last match on RWA Hype, and Chris Pyro taking a look at that uh, children's small t-shirt because Damian Black hates women, fat people, and children. You know, he said he doesn't do things twice in the ring. He always hates fat people, women, and children in the ring every time he's out there, so that's a lie. He does contradict himself, but I, I don't know who would want to catch that shirt after Chris Pyro just blew snots all over it and then rubbed him into his own crotch. Wrestling is not sanitary, ladies and gents. It absolutely is not. And here we are, a collar and elbow tie-up between Damian Black and Chris Pyro. The side headlock applied by the Sure Shot, a name that you gave him. Well, it, it, it makes sense. I mean, honestly, he, he's got a striking ability unlike anyone else in the RWA. And he, he's got something in his crosshairs. The kid hits it. Uh, turning the hammerlock into a hammerlock of his own is Damian Black trying to gain control over the shorter but slightly heavier Chris Pyro. Pyro looking to sweep the leg and possibly get around the 
Hammerlock breaks the hold and into a Hammerlock of his own. It's a, it's a matter of leverage with these two. And they're pretty evenly matched. I think if, 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 Black gets, uh, if Black gets the advantage, he should come in for a quick crescent kick. Neither, just uh, knock him out. Another side headlock by Damian Black. Pyra trying to get leverage, whips him off the ropes, ducks under there, Black off the top rope, and a shoulder tackle, one, two, and a kick out by Damian Black into the side headlock again. And that was a very Shatner way of calling the action, Rob Massey. I am, you know, a Trekkie and a Captain Kirk fan, if you will. You don't want me to do uh, a Shatner commentary, we'll be here all night. This is true. <laughs> It Back. looks like Chris Pyro's got himself the advantage in this matchup. You know, one thing that he has to his dynamic that Damian Black doesn't, Damian Black over the past two years has showcased himself as, a, as primarily a singles wrestler. Chris Pyro, as we know, is one half of the hoods, and not only can he tear things up in the singles competition, but this guy knows how to create different dynamics to the flow of a match. And he's had such a takedown, taking Damian Black all the way out of the ring, and he's taking a little bit uh, of a break outside the ring. Uh, in that gear, he was very impressed with Bobby Rossi. <laughs> Damian Black is going to catch a suicide dive by Chris Pyro out of the ring, knocking Black to the floor once again. And it is really not uh, very well protected outside the ring. Those mats that are there, but they're only about two inches thick, and they're not, uh, they're not fun to land on. They don't have much give at all, Rob. Damian Black back into the ring and a cover here by Chris Pyro. One, two, and Black kicks out just at two. And here's a problem, Black is getting ahead of himself. I think he's now realizing the brevity of what he's got uh, up against him in the ring. You, 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 can't, you can't consider Chris Pyro easy pickings, pal. I'm sorry. Now back and forth matching with forearms. Damian Black knocked back to the top rope and hit the forearm of his own. Catching Chris Pyro looking for a kick and a sweep of Chris Pyro taking him down. There's that martial arts uh, background that he spoke of. We've got a modified Indian death lock, it appears. Chris Pyro is uh, in a little bit of pain with the problems with his knees that he's had. Obviously, being a kicker, you're going to have problems with your legs. And if you take that away, you take away a lot of Chris Pyro's offense. I haven't come across a wrestler that didn't have problems with their joints in one way or shape or form, I'll tell you. Nice drop kick by Damian Black to Chris Pyro. And he looks like he's, while he's looking past Chris Pyro, in my opinion, he looks like he's more than ready for Dynasty to face uh, Mr. Awesome. Uh, I've been told it's going to be called the Wave of the Future, Mike Grasso. Well, that's a moniker he's been running with for the past couple of months. It's something he wants to stick with, and I'll tell you, he really is the Wave of the Future. At only 20 years of age, the, the sky is the limit for Mike Grasso. Damian Black surely has his work cut out for him. A step over toe lock here by Damian Black, again taking the legs out of the equation for Chris Pyro. Pyro trying with the right hands to break the hold of Damian Black and does successfully, but how much damage has been done to those knees in the last minute and a half, Bobby Rossi? Not enough to keep either man down, that's for Dan Shaw. It's still somewhat of a scrap between these two gentlemen, and I use that term loosely once again. Damian Black is far from a gentleman, but he's yeah, one hell of an athlete, and he's got a cover here, or appeared to be a cover, dragging Pyro to the center of the ring. Going for another version of the Indian Deathlock here. And now it up with a head scissors. This kid is innovative, I'll tell you. Once again, not in the, uh, quite the mean character, really nasty prick, but one hell of a wrestler. You can't take that away from him. You absolutely cannot. Rolling his opponent over there not only torques the knees and the neck, but also now stretching the abdomen of Chris Pyro. And if you can't breathe, you're not going to be able to kick out of the three count. We have one, two, and well, apparently he still can breathe a little bit as he kicks out uh, at about two and a half. That's, that's a desperation kick out by a, low, by a regional veteran right there. This kid is, uh, he's no spring chicken and this isn't his first rodeo. We've got another cover. Two and another kick out by Chris Pyro who is uh, in a bad way here against Damian Black. Do you think Chris Pyro uh, overlooked Damian Black a little bit tonight because of uh, his attitude uh, that he's had recently? It's possible. Or maybe he's just been watching Damian Black over the past uh, few months he's been here at the RWA. Both men down, referee checking. See if either one of them can answer a call. And we have a 10 count, standing 10 count beginning here. We're at two. Chris Pyro looks like he's the uh, better of the two after hitting uh, that modified slam there. Bobbing his head, trying to get uh, a little bit of adrenaline flowing here, Bobby Rossi. And we've got the crowd here at the Chop Shop reeling in, kind of reeling behind both of these men. Forearms back and forth. 
I think the technical aspect of this match has just been uh, has been lost here, Bobby Rossi. We're just going to start the fight now. A spinning back fist and a forearm to Damian Black going for a fisherman suplex. Beautifully well done. done. We cover this here. Could be it right here, folks. One, two, and just kicks out about two and a half. And that was very surprising. I didn't see how Damian Black was going to kick out of that just because of how beautifully executed that fisherman suplex was. Well, that's the thing that most people overlook about Damian Black. The kid has got a buck ton of resolve. He's got tenacity. He's not the type to just roll over in a fight. Dirty a pool player he may be, he's no slouch. Chris Pyro has Damian Black up on his shoulders. He's pointing towards the far corner. Look for that DVD. Ended up suffering a kick to the midsection. Incredible athleticism there by Damian Black using the ropes to his advantage. Cover one, two, and a kick out at just two and a half. And I tell oh, you what. How the hell he kicked out of that. And there, there's another trick that, that Damian Black has pulled out of his bag, if you will. He said you see something new from him every match. And there it was, a springboard reverse DDT. This kid is innovative. Damian Black in the higher end district here, which is not saying much being in Onlyville, but he's at the top rope and he jumps through what looked to be a reversal of Chris Pyro, kicks Pyro, now he's on second rope. A and a buster, sending Pyro ass over tea kettle. We've one, got a pinfall two, here. And a kick out at two and a half. I, it, incredible, I, I did not expect that. And Damian Black is more than upset at our young rookie referee for not counting the three. Well, don't push your luck with this kid, Damian. I'll tell you, O'Gara doesn't take slack from anyone. He will shoot the DQ. Damian Black now looks a little puzzled. It looks like uh, he does not keep Chris Pyro down. Pyro using Damian Black to crawl, get himself back up to at least his knees and now up to his feet. Oh, he misses with that crescent kick. We've got a roll here. Wait, one, two, three. And out of nowhere, Chris Pyro pulls off the pulls off the victory. Damian Black having the rug pulled out from underneath him. Did not see that coming. You know, I eat my words once again. I said he had he, he had a pyro in his in his crosshairs there, and the sure shot surely did not make that shot. Came up quite a bit short and ended up costing him. Kid, take some notes, look at this footage, evaluate what happened, and go into Dynasty with as clear of a head as you can, pal. Don't let this eat you up alive. Tell you what, Damian Black is Damian Black is going to face Mike Grassa at Dynasty, and if he overlooks his opponent at Dynasty, he's going to lose Bobby Rossi. It's not good to go into the Dynasty with a loss, but move on from it, brother. 